Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We haven't posted in a while, I want to apologize, but uh, we're going to kick off this season with a series of uh, basically spring cleaning and preparedness videos uh, to get ready for this next coming up uh, summer and uh, fall of uh, 2024. With all the craziness happening in the world, and we don't know, don't need to go into that here. You might want to think about getting a whole house generator. It's about a 400 cc motor. It's four stroke, um, and uh, what I want to do is change the oil in it. Now, when these were brand new, they don't typically come with oil. So one of the first things they warn you about is to to install some uh, oil right away before you run it. Now, I've only ever run this to test it, to do a video on a quiet box that I built. Uh, and then about every uh, three months or so, I'll run it for five minutes and stuff, and that's about it. But you know, it is uh, conventional oil, and it breaks down over time. So um, it's time to go ahead and change that oil. So a couple things you're going to need, really simple, if you have this model of generator or similar like it, a 3/8 ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket. You could do that with a uh, wrench as well, but uh, that's really the only tool you're going to need, guys. You need about a liter of approved oil. Now I'm using the Briggs and Stratton proprietary blend. It's SAE 30. In my area, it doesn't freeze over, and I can kind of get away with uh, with that kind of oil here. It is warranty approved. If you care about that? Um, some rags, some cleaner, uh, you know, and, and, and a, some kind of pan that'll fit under that drain plug. Now they've made it really convenient for you. They put the drain plug right up front, right near the fill. Uh, I use a little aluminum uh, baking pan uh, that the wife uh, doesn't mind if I sacrifice one for, um, and it's really easy. So guys, what you want to do is subscribe to this channel, and you're going to hear about a lot more gadgets and do it yourself in the coming months. So you're going to run your generator for about 5 or 10 minutes, get that oil warmed up just like you would a car, and then you're going to shut it down and go ahead and remove that 15, foot, uh, 15 millimeter bolt, drain it, and at the same time, what I like to do is uh, clean up really well around that fill plug and just make sure there's no debris that might fall in there when you remove that fill plug. Fill plug, hand tight only, comes off really easy and I kind of wipe up around there. Uh, and then my model takes about one liter of oil. Uh, now some manuals will say uh, fill up to the overflow point and that makes it really easy and, and honestly, you know, if you miss it by a few uh, ounces either way, you know, it's probably not going to really uh, hurt your generator too much. Just stay on top of your intervals of changing oil. Now, if this is uh, your emergency power, I would recommend annually, you know, it, it's, it's essentially a quart of oil and that's great insurance just to make sure this thing runs when you want it to. So you're going to reinstall that drain plug, fill it up to the overflow point or one liter in my case, and then just tighten down everything and uh, I like to run it again for about five minutes just to make sure everything's had a chance to coalesce and uh, get happy with each other. Now one thing you might want to do uh, while you're at this, if you don't run your generator very often, make sure you get an approved product to stabilize that gasoline, uh, four stroke gasoline uh, that's in that tank. If it's sat for a really long time, you might want to think about siphoning that out and throwing it in the lawnmower disposing of it but uh, usually that uh, fuel stabilizer goes for about a year and after that it really starts to degrade so another really important reason for running that engine uh, at least once every uh, month or, or so and there you go guys uh, really simple really quick it's clean uh, there's not a whole lot to do it so now in the coming video I'm gonna be re reviewing and testing out this EcoFlow solar generator that I have. It's a small size. It's about a 700 uh, some odd watt hour uh, battery capacity in there, but uh, it's really neat. It's very affordable and you could power your refrigerator, well, my refrigerator for almost 20 hours. Uh, I've even tried it out on my Traeger and a few other things around the house. And uh, as a backup to your backup, I think it's a fantastic idea. So I'm going to be giving you guys a review video on that uh, in the coming uh, weeks or, or so, and uh, so we'll be looking for that. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.